Vincent uh, and Superfeen. So what we're going to show you is actually FinStation kind of live in person. You can see how it works. Um, and this is really the customer experience, right? So this is what exists currently in retail. So in the U.S. right now, we have it launched. Not into Europe yet, not until about 2019. Um, but currently in the U.S., this is live. So if you are fortunate to live in the U.S., you can go to fitstation.com, find the nearest location, and actually go scan your feet if you don't believe that this is a real product yet. I challenge you. <laughs> um, lucky for you guys, we have a great foot model, so she's actually going to go through the demo. Um, so it's very easy. Again, this is created to be a retail solution, so we want it to be something that a customer can come in and really do it themselves, right? Like That's the whole goal is that, again, affordable, accessible, and easy to use. So she steps onto the scanner, perfect placement. She did this yesterday, so she's now a pro. <laughs> <laughs> and simply, we push the button that says scan. We scan her feet. It really lets you know what to do. So then when it's done, she knows, she switches her feet. Again, it gives you hints on the screen. And you see a first example, and we scan the next foot. Again, super easy, 3D scanning. We're taking your length, your width, and all that volumetric data of the foot. So we know not only just how long it is, but those other details like we were talking about this morning, your arch length, your arch height, and really the, like, the volume of your foot. So if you have you know, bunions, if you have fatter feet, things that like, you need to know to pick your footwear, we're taking all of that. Next, uh, dynamic gait analysis. So now we're getting the pressure of her feet. So she's walking across this pressure plate. Again, in retail, we have it set up a little bit differently because we don't want anybody to look down at their feet and like perfect the way they walk. We want to know how you really move, not how you want to move, right? So you can see her feet on the screen as she walks. Just keep coming once we uh, fill it up. We want to make sure we get more than just one footprint because we want to take the average of the way that she walks. Again, that's to make sure she's not trying to walk better, right? So you can also run across the pressure plate, which is great. Um, it really depends on the retailer, how they want to experience it, because again, space and retail is limited, so it's very open to however they want their customers to experience it. We hit next, and then we have instant data. So you can see immediately her feet. Um, what's really great about FitStation compared to other solutions is that we're using the real feet. We're not taking the length and your width and giving you a generic foot model that's kind of been stretched to whatever your foot might look like. We're looking at your foot. So we know if you have any kind of problems. If you're missing a toe, we're gonna to see that you're missing a toe. It's very, um, it's your foot. It's up to a millimeter of accuracy, so it's not gonna be anything surprising. And then of course we look at the 2D results, which is that dynamic gate. So we can see where she puts her pressure, where there's more red, there's more pressure, more blue, and it's gonna give all of this data, and that's how we create those custom products. So we consider this the three levels of customization. The first level is that shoe recommendation that um, Eric started talking about this morning with Safe Size, where we actually take your foot and we compare it to a scan of a shoe. And the way we do this is we actually expand the shoe so that we know how that shoe moves as well. So if it has a different type of um, upper, such as like a leather upper that you're wearing, or knitted uppers, I don't think anyone has, oh, right here, perfect example. So different shoes react differently to expansion, right? And so we take all of that data and then we can compare it to your foot. The next thing we do is that um, 3D printed insole. So with super feet, we're able to individualize each insole. So both of your feet are different, we know this. And because they're both moving different, we're able to create a different insole for each of your feet. Um, what's really cool also about these insoles is that um, the upper material, of course, only the base part is 3D printed. So only this plastic mm -hmm. piece is 3D printed. This is light manufacture. It's still that squishy upper material that we glue on top of it. Um, but what's really great is, again, they are individual. So when you put one on your feet, they're not going to feel the same for somebody else, right? It's always going to be for you. And then the third part, <coughs> is of course that fully custom shoe that we're launching with Brooks and that we talked about earlier this morning. You guys were the first people to actually get to see that shoe. So it's not been released. There's no images on the web yet. So consider yourselves very fortunate. It's really exciting for me. Um, and that's really that third step of customization where we actually take the midsole and we modify it based on your biometrics. Um, there was a question earlier this morning about the midsoles, if they were 3D printed. They are not. So 3D printed is the insole piece only. Yeah. For the shoe itself, we use a thing called PU injection. It's multi-section injection. It's from Desma Shoe Manufacturing Technology. And what that allows us to do is modify the hardness of the midsole in one shot. So normally the process, um, you're a great example because you have these shoes on. Thanks for coming. <laughs> but normally the process is um, it goes into a mold, it injects the rubber around the mold, and it glues that essentially onto that upper material immediately, it's just one step. There's no gluing, there's no toothbrushes, like Eric was joking about this morning. Very simple process. 
Um, and with the multi-section, we're able to change in that one shot the different densities and different hardnesses right there for your feet. So um, I don't have a shoe example for you guys, unfortunately, but what's really great is that you're able to see, we'll change the colors even to make it a little more fun, but you're able to see the sections of your shoe that actually have those different properties. So if your heel is darker, and then your, the middle of your foot will put like yellow or something, and then the forefoot we can put white. So we'll just change the colors so that you can really see the different um, lengths of each part of your shoe. So that's something that's really fun.